What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing well today. Um, I wanted to make this video a while, but I did. I kind of held off on it, but I want to talk about it. Um, and that is the dark side of Nepenthes growing, which sounds very ominous uh, and for good reason. So there is a lot of demand for Nepenthes, and that demand is starting to grow and continue to grow, which I love to see. I love to see these plants being pushed into the limelight and getting an opportunity to shine um, and getting more and more people to understand and appreciate how lovely and beautiful they are. Um, the downside of that is poaching. So there was a recent article that came out, I say recent, it's been about a year now, where it sort of highlights the story of this grower who uh, became obsessed with Nepenthes and as a result needed more and more and more of the rare species so they ended up buying uh, more illicitly grown or rather stolen Nepenthes um, and they ended up getting caught by the feds uh, and they had to get rid of all the collection can never collect Nepenthes again um, and had to pay a enormous fine but uh, you know that in itself is enough of a, uh, of a reason not to do it but for me the biggest reason is uh, we have to keep in mind what it is that we're trying to accomplish with growing Nepenthes. Now, uh, some people just collect Nepenthes for the sake of collecting them. They're beautiful plants. I totally get that, and I fully support that. Um, my main driver collecting them, uh, one of them certainly is they're beautiful and unique, but the main driver is to protect them from becoming extinct. Uh, like I've said in my other videos, they've been around for, carnivorous plants in general have been around for 200 million years. Nepenthes have been around uh, or have been evolving rather for the majority of that time and so they've done something that is uh, completely unique in the uh, in the natural world that I've seen uh, to adapt so uh, uh, such a huge amount right uh, if you actually look at their DNA they've almost removed all their DNA that doesn't uh, to rely on carnivory and it's such a cool concept but I digress the point that I'm trying to make is it's very, very easy to fall into poaching, uh, even if you're sitting at home ordering online. So the biggest thing you want to do is you want to research the people that you're buying plant seeds from and or plants. OK, so a lot of these plants will only grow in an area the size of uh, 10 square feet at the smallest, like Clipiata, which they don't even know if still exists all the way up to maybe only a mile. And not just poaching is a threat to them, right? There's a lot of crops that are being grown in their natural habitat, and so they're being destroyed for that. So what we want to do is conserve these plants and grow them ex situ or uh, in uh, a controlled setting like this to, in order to continue their survival. Now, it is an addicting um, hobby. I will say that. A lot of people become very much like, oh, I got to get the next one. I got to get the next one. And that is understandable. Um, but please don't lose sight of why it is that this is such an important hobby that we want to save these plants. Um, having said that, there are some nefarious characters out there that will sell seeds that they go and they poach from the wild or that they'll, they will take and rip out plants from the wild. Uh, the plants that they rip out are going to die anyways, um, and they just deplete the, the natural resources that we have. So please keep in mind, biggest takeaway um, is research, research, research who it is that you're buying plants for, from buying seeds from, make sure that they're a reputable source, and then that way all of us can share and enjoy in these beautiful, beautiful creations, um, such a wonderment of evolution, um, and, and uh, just be able to uh, enjoy nature, continue to preserve them. That's all I've got. That's enough of that uh, public service announcement. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy collecting. Please let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.